there are a ton of videos out here on the internet that people are just sharing ideas and things that you can do with ChatGPT. And to be honest with you, I've heard so many people talking about how ChatGPT really helped them to learn technical skills. Not gonna lie, I actually use ChatGPT to help me to learn it as well. But you need to be careful about how exactly you're gonna use ChatGPT to learn. So in today's video, we are going to talk about that and I'm gonna explain what I mean by that. Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a full-time software developer in New York City. So in this channel, you are going to learn so much about tech related contents and I am currently working remotely so if you want to know more contents about you know how to learn to code web development or anything that's related to tech maybe consider subscribing so let's go straight into the topic what exactly is ChatGPT if you're already clicking on this video I assume that you already know what ChatGPT is but if not then I'm gonna give you a brief intro so ChatGPT is a artificial intelligent chatbot that developed by OpenAI and it was launched back in 2022 in November. It is basically an AI powered chatbot and it used deep machine learning techniques to generate human-like responses just like any kind of conversations that you would have with your friends. So for instance if I wanted to know the benefits of drinking water, by the way you should drink a lot of water, instead of you know googling around and finding benefits about drinking water you can just ask gpt something like what is the benefits of drinking water and chat gpt will then tell you after it analyzes all these answers that it can search on the internet and it'll tell you the benefits of drinking water etc etc that is basically what chat gpt is so this means it opens up a ton of learning opportunities just imagine that if you're confused with something now that you don't have to googling all over the place if you get stuck with the tutorial what you have to do is just ask the AI to explain it to you and that's a very very interesting use cases because essentially ChatGPT is just like a pair programmer like a partner that you have a private tutor however you like to call them and it will give you help and it will make you to understand things that you might not be able to understand stand on your own and searching on the internet. So you might say that Vicky, that sounds just absolutely awesome. What is the problem here? Well, here is the thing. For learning to program, a lot of times it's something about like muscle memories where you have to really work through your brain to be able to understand the concepts. I can show you how to solve a algorithm problem. I can show you different ways that I would solve the problem, but it's all up to you to really understand a concept and be able to apply it yourself. So how many times that you are following the instructions, you're following the tutorial, but then when you close out all those helps, you have no idea what to do, right? So what I want you to be aware of is that you have to be careful to not to treat chat GPT like a GPS navigation. What I mean by that is that let's say when you put your address in the GPS and you're following all the instructions to drive to your destination. I would have no idea how to drive except if I follow step by step what the GPS is telling me to do. So at the end, I would not have any sense of direction whatsoever. I would completely relying on that GPS, right? And I can't go anywhere without that GPS, unfortunately. So it's kind of like the same thing with ChatGPT is that instead of seeing it as a 
HGPS that you should play the devil's advocate. Like you should really take your critical thinking skill into practice. Y'all listen to what GPT have to say, but you won't just accept as a fact just yet. You should really challenge it, and you should really be skeptical and thinking critically about every single step of the way. Instead of blindly copy and pasting every single answers that ChatGPT generates, you should really go through it line by line. And make sure that you really understand it. And if you don't, ask for clarifications. You should not just let it fly because that is the opportunity for you to actually learn about it. And also, it's really important to double check things that seems suspicious from the answers. And what I would recommend is checking those things on a legit documentations. So, for instance, if you are confused with use effects in React and you're suspicious about the answers. That ChatGPT give you, what you should really do is go into React documentations and read through use effects and see if you can understand it, and then try to look back on the answers from ChatGPT and see if that makes sense to you at all. And that should be the right way that you should leverage ChatGPT to help you to learn. In the past couple months, I had so many interesting conversations with aspiring developers who were getting more and more and more concerned about. AI, they're thinking that by the time that they learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and be really good at it, there won't be any jobs left. So, is that means AI really gonna just replace everybody's job, and we're all gonna just get obsolete and fired? I honestly don't think that's the case. I think that web developer jobs aren't going anywhere, but I can't promise that things will stay exactly the same. I feel like AI. AI is evolving, and I feel like technology has been improved. Instead of thinking that AI is going to replace all of our jobs. At the moment, I would think that AI would serve as a tool to help us as developers even get better at our jobs, and we can leverage that to build even more interesting things and more renovations for the society. I think that I'm pretty optimistic about AI. I just think that you know the same logics kind of applies to accountants. I don't think that accountants are gonna get replaced. By spreadsheets, right? It just helps them to better their jobs even more or less. And it's the same with you know digital cameras. They're not gonna replace photographers. We still need that creative people to be able to use digital cameras and smartphones to create interesting arts, right? So I don't think that web developers will be replaced by AI. Not at all. There's a huge difference between. You know, generating 50 lines of HTML and CSS, and splitting that out into a production-ready web application. And I don't think AI is magic. It's only as good as its training data, right? Like code snippets are all over the internet, and it's usually very generic, right? But if you think about like every code bases, they're very unique and different, and Every single business has their own business logics, and you know, like it's very, very, very different than what you just see online, where you know ChatGPT or AI or any of these new technologies can just do what humans do. I just don't think. That AI can learn, at least not for now, to build a real-world project like developers can. But that being said, developers have always have to be adaptable to keep up with technology. What I'm trying to say is not, you know, not to learn new things, not to be open-minded because your job is never gonna get replaced by technology or by anyone else. But it is important to say that if AI is not putting us at risk at our job. I've tried to imagine what it would look like if non-developers were able to build an entire web application without understanding web technologies, and I come up with so. Many reasons why it wouldn't work. I can't predict the future for now, but I truly don't believe that web developers are being obsolete.
complete. Not at all. And I don't want you to look back in five years and seeing that software developers are even more in demand and you regret that you stop pursuing your dream. So that's how I feel about AIs and how I feel about ChatGPT. Leave comments down below and let me know what you think. And do you think that we're all gonna get replaced by AI? Do you use ChatGPT to learn to code? And make sure to check out other videos that I have here. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.